Okay, in this quick tutorial, I'll just show you how I'm going to use this text on a building. I wanted to wrap a sign around the side of a building to the front of the building for one of the games that I'm working on. All right, and so, but I couldn't find a way to just bend it. I mean, I could cut the mesh. It's basically when you put text into the scene, if you're not familiar with it, you just add text to the scene. And you can, well, look at that, it's that way. So if you go into edit mode, then you can just type anything like usual. But then before you use it, you want to go over and convert it. Because see, notice up here there's an F for all the all the parameters. But in this case, if I just need to convert it to a mesh before I can actually do things. And so this thing has been converted to a mesh. So in order to change the shape, you have all you can use. You can go into the deform modifier or the modifiers, and you can try all these in here. But the lattice is pretty simple. To work with this is great for you know making things squeeze through things or whatever so this is a simple lattice right here that I created and the only thing I did in here once I placed it into the scene I subdivided it and then I went and grabbed the top end of it up here like this and just by having that then when I rotate it on Z that allows me to control the mesh here of course that's dependent upon where this text is in the scene anyway so let's see I'll slide it over there. Let's try it again. RZ, so I'm wrapping it up right in there. A lot of this is just trial and error to get it right. So that just crunched it on itself. That didn't really work, but but these lattices are pretty fun. I don't I don't use them very much except when I have a particular need, like in this case. But you can do all kinds of things with it. But the, other people have done a lot more tutorials on this kind of stuff. It's not something that I really focus on, but I just wanted to point it out in case you're not familiar with lattices. Mostly it's when you're doing something like this, you're adding something like a sphere to a scene. And you want to squeeze that sphere through here, right? So you go pick this sphere, you have to go get a lattice modifier for this lattice modifier. Go grab the lattice here. And then when you take it, then when you run it through, it squeezes through to the shape of that. Well, it's not going to quite do it because that's a little bit too big, but we'll get it down to a size that's halfway reasonable. And then it tends to match that shape as it goes through. Let's see where it is if we're close by. Yeah, it's pretty close. So that's a lot easier in a lot of cases than using the... Uh, going over here and using the shape keys where you're just going in and you're doing it frame at a time. They both have, their, everything has its advantages. There's so many different ways to do the same thing in computer graphics just like with computer programming. So, alright, well that's just a quick tip and I'll see you in the next video.